Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another spicy challenge. Today, I'm going to be tasting Bing Samyang's Carbo. This packet of noodles was sent to me by lovely Amy. Amy, thank you so much for sending this to me. I have not seen the Carbo flavor here anywhere, so I'm super excited to taste this and curious to see if it at all tastes like what I think of when I think of carbonara. When I think of carbonara, I believe that's made, isn't carbonara made with bacon? Carbonara is a pasta dish that's made with bacon, right? And cheese? Right? Right? Yes, yes. So this is made by Samyang, the famous Korean company that makes these spicy chicken ramen noodles. But now they've come out with a whole series of spicy noodles. And this particular flavor is a limited edition. It's supposed to commemorate the 1 billion sales of the spicy chicken <laughs> noodles. I'm very curious to see if this is going to be spicy at all. It does have some flames here, but I don't know if this is going to be spicy. It's in this really cute pink packaging. The wasabi mayo one that I tried was not spicy at all, so I hope this one is spicy as well. The directions look like I just have to boil this, and I'm going to add two seasoning packets. And here's our cute little friend Hochi, who's sitting in the soup pot. Is he getting boiled? What's he doing? He's just chilling. Enough talking and speculation about this. Let's give it a taste. And like all the other Samnan noodles, it comes in a nice round puck. But these noodles are wide and fat. I'll put them in my bowl here. We have the sauce packet. Ooh, and this looks like a dry packet of something. Maybe that'll be kind of like the cheese. Yay. First, let's bring some water to the boil. And boil, boil, boil. Steam bath boil. So people have asked me about this burner. This is an induction burner and it uses magnets to create the heat. You can actually touch the cooking surface without burning yourself, which I think is a really great feature of induction burners. Alrighty, so my water's come up to a boil. Let's add the noodles and all the stragglers in there as well. I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes. It says five, but I like my noodles to be really bouncy. So stir those up. I'm gonna reduce the heat a little bit. I know it may seem like I eat a lot of instant noodles or ramen, but I really don't. I just really just taste them when I taste them for you on camera. But there is something to be said of an instant hot meal and noodles, which I adore. All right, so the noodles have come apart. They're still very firm and bouncy. Yeah, and that's the problem that I have with other instant noodles is the noodles tend to get really mushy which is not really fun, right? Mushy noodles, except if you're having mushy mimi. I will do that video with my brother, by the way. The next time I see him, we're going to record and film an episode of mushy mimi because I don't remember the last time I had it. And it's, as I imagine, something to be shared with only the one other person in the world that <laughs> has ever had it. Oh man, don't you love family? What about you guys? Do you guys have any dishes that you only share with a certain small population of people, namely family, loved ones, exes or something? Let me know in the comments. And that's a huge part of food for me, right? It's that bonding, it's that connection over the experience of the food, right? That's pretty special. And that experience is universal. No matter where you go on this planet, all of us can understand eating and sharing food. Here, here. All right, on that note, my noodles are coming along. They're separating. They're starting to get a little bit starchy on the outside. I'm going to taste one and see. Woo! Perfect. Three minutes. Amy said not to reheat these, so I'm going to just put that into my serving bowl. Eight tablespoons of my broth. I'm going to do four because I don't want this to be too saucy. Because if it gets too saucy, then I have to cook it down, and I know that you guys want me to consume all the stuff that's in there, so just for the sake of everything, I'm just going to add four, and then I can always add more. Now we're going to add our little packets. I'm going to add the sauce first. Oops, did I get some on me? Mm, it smells wonderful. Ooh, nice and dark and red. Yes, this actually looks a lot like the original sauce, as I remember. That smells like Italian seasoning. Interesting. And as you can see, that looks like maybe cheese. 
Definitely some little green flecks in there, maybe parsley. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. So five tablespoons, because it looks like it needs it. Six. Oh yeah, loosen things up. And it smells fantastic. A little bit garlicky, basil and spicy. So like all my other spicy noodle challenges, I'm going to attempt to finish this and see if I can do it without having anything to drink. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the sauce has stiffened up a little bit, so I'm going to add the seventh tablespoon of water. And I can get everything nice and liquid again. All right, I feel like I should have a bib. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. It did off my ass. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is great. It's definitely spicy, but in a really pleasurable way. The sauce is creamier though, and richer and full of garlicky flavor, but a little bit different. I love it. It definitely tastes more, hmm, I think more Asian-y than Western-y. I think if I were blindfolded, I would never guess that this is carbonara. I would think maybe cheesy, but not carbonara. I don't taste really any bacon, but that's just the first bite. Let me taste it again. Mm -hmm. No, don't taste any bacon. Delicious. I love this one. The noodles, of course, are wonderful, nice and wide, and really chewy and bouncy. Love this one. Mm. Clean off my face. <laughs> Super good. In terms of the amount of heat, I would say about as hot as the original. It's pretty spicy but not so spicy that I can't taste it. I can really enjoy the flavors that are going on in here. Delicious. Mm -hmm. This one is right up there with the original and the curry one. Those ones have been some of my favorites. I also like the stew type too. Actually, I like a lot <laughs> of the Samyang noodles. Although wasabi was pretty disappointing. It was fine with flavor, but it was just wasn't spicy, which I found I really enjoy with these noodles. All right, try to get the perfect bite here. Without getting too messy. Yes, the noodles are nice and long too. Mm -hmm. I also find that I like the style of noodle where it's really saucy, but not necessarily soupy. I do like soupy ramen noodles and instant ramen noodles, but it's nice having it kind of dry too, similar to yakisoba or instant yakisoba. Mm. A really flavorful <coughs> noodle. Look at that. Oh my gosh. How am I going to get that into my mouth? Okay, here we go. The heat is tolerable and pleasurable. Any more than this, like the two times hot, while I liked that it was really hot, it was just too hot in terms of just being able to enjoy a meal. This is perfect. Nice and hot, my tongue is burning, but it's not painful. I can still taste everything that's going on and I'm enjoying it. And it's kind of, what is it, heating this? Mmm. Do you like the pain? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, I guess someone needs me. I'll have to wait. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> and just like that, about two thirds done. These are a pleasure. I love these taste tests. Mm. So I think if you add Added the eight tablespoons, as they said, it would be a little bit looser, but this is really great for me. It's almost like mac and cheese, kind of like moistness, or how I would envision mac and cheese moistness should be, even though I'm not a huge mac and cheese fan. Oh gosh. Get back to eating, girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also like that this tastes rich, but it doesn't taste like 
fake cheesy. It doesn't fit taste like American processed cheese food. It's still very flavorful and rich. It tastes just, yeah, more rich and creamy rather than cheesy. Mm -hmm. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I just cut the little bits now. Just a couple more bites. Come on, get on the spoon. Now, by the end of it, your mouth really does feel warm, but again, tolerable and wonderful. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Delish. Get onto the spoon, all of you. Thank you. Mm. All right, done. <laughs> and I am disappointed that is done. That was delicious. So if you like these spicy noodle taste tests or like to see me suffer from, you know, heat exposure, you know, this kind of heat exposure, be sure to check out the playlist where you can see me suffer some more. So big thanks again to Amy for sending me these noodles and allowing me to taste these. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learn something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media to know what videos are coming up next. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.